Alrighty, hi, hearties, and welcome to Medieval Technology. Today, we shall be taking a look at the improved Automata Catapulta, Catapulta Automata version 2. So, how is it improved? Well, first of all, you're probably seeing a smaller design from the last one. Uh, you may also have noticed that this one actually uses the large catapult projectile things, which means it will destroy stuff. That is Iron Voss clock tower. Now, I chose this because I think it's a pretty cool build. It's an actual working clock tower that shows the time, minutes and hours. So very interesting build. It also makes a perfect target for mass destruction. Uh, so it has the same firing rate as the last guy. It uses the same type of magazine, so I won't talk about that too much. And uh, well, partly the catapult is very similar, but partly it's very different. It uses the pullback, hold it there, and then let go. Uh, but I will explain more about that in the end. For those of you that only want to see destruction, that is what you will see in the end of the video. I will explain how it works, and you will uh, probably learn something from that. So, we're gonna see here that it will fire in 3, 2, FIRE! Look at that, that's so beautiful. So it appears like, well, the cannonballs sometimes doesn't like to play by the laws of physics. And they will stop. So just nudge them a little bit and that will save them. I I'm not sure if that's actually saving. Uh, but it appears from my testing that this doesn't jam up. Wow! That was a detrimental shot to this structure. Uh, the, the logs, small blocks, uh, they don't appear to be play to play by the same laws of physics like everything else. So the structure is probably just leaning on the gears right now. Yeah, it looks like that. It just, it's just leaning on the gears. But that was a really good shot. Uh, it appears like it has two spots it will continuously fire on. and uh, Or around... Uh, it's it is fairly accurate and it seems to be decided by how they lay in the magazine so if they lay on the left side uh, it will shoot on the left and if it lies on the right side it will shoot more a little bit to the right as you can see there it could be the opposite i haven't really done that much research on the subject but it is fairly accurate and can hit the exact same spot twice uh, or even three times in a row uh, so that's pretty nice. And I think we're just gonna take the time to let it... Uh, we're gonna take a closer look to the... On the... Functional part. You can see that there's actually two torsion... Torsion... Torsh... Torsion springs. Uh, right here. And we're gonna take a little bit of a closer look on the actual workings of it. You can see that there are ropes going through blocks. Which is something... That the game allows, and I am going to exploit that to make awesome things. Oh, now it falls! No, it doesn't! Ah, damn it! So, the rest of the video will be me explaining how the actual release and pullback mechanic works. And if you're not interested in that, then you are perfectly fine to leave. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. But if you're interested in that part as well, then stick around and you shall know more. So, there we go. I deleted our target so we can take a closer look at this without the need of, uh, well, lag. Uh, so, let's just start this. And you will see that this thing on the side here, which is the lock and release mechanic... Uh, it has a stick on the side here, which looks very funky, and it is there as a guide. So after this guy has fired, you will see that's better. But you can see that it makes sure that this is always on the left side of this thing and can then fall over at the end and lock it. Uh, now when this is pulled, you can see it's going to be pulled very soon. There we go. It just tugs on this side a little bit and that is enough to release this thing and because of the nature we're doing this this is more versatile you can use a smaller gear if you want to and it will still work you just have to set up the ropes properly and you might need to move this guy further down if you're using a smaller gear uh, anyway so what is happening here is that this rope is to set the distance 
and it is supposed to be about this long so when it reaches here it's going to reach the end of the rope and it's going to tug and now it's just letting after there's more rope than there is a distance between these two so nothing is happening uh, the same is actually true on this side as well so the, the end of the rope is down here and when this uh, rope end is up here it is the longest distance of the rope or the it is the closest to the released state of the catapult which is why when we release it uh, the rope isn't stopping it uh, and i think the best way to demonstrate that is just to take the latches here and connect them together and when i push this away you will see that it will pull the other block and if i pull on this it's going to pull that block but if i move them together a bit and then push this away nothing happens and that is because the ropes are a set distance and this is the distance of the rope so when we push them closer together uh, the rope hasn't become shorter even though it does look like the rope is shorter because of well it's it looks stretched it's actually not stretched and when you reach that limit is when it's going to start to pull and that is what we're utilizing here both of the ropes are the distance right here and when they reach that and does that little extra pull because we're going further away it either pulls back the the catapult arm or releases the catapult arm depending on which rope we are talking about so that is the thing explained if you're thinking about the uh, the release mechanism for the uh, magazine then you can go check out the last video where i explained that but that's all i have for you today don't forget there are uh, links to workshop to iron boss channel and workshop and stuff like that for the clock tower and the workshop for this thing and stuff in the description go there check stuff out i hope you enjoyed this video if you did feel free to leave a dislike if you didn't well feel free to leave a dislike and i shall see you for the next time